When you try to take a shot of something interesting with your iPhone camera, it could get so blurry that you can barely focus on anything at all. However, whether you find your camera blurry after updating your iPhone to iOS 26 or for other reasons, you can fix it with today's video. We will show you two powerful solutions to fix iPhone camera blurry. Let's dive in. Fix 1. Hard reset your iPhone. To begin with, try to switch between different camera lenses. Sometimes a certain lens gets stuck while the others work just fine. If the issue applies to all the lenses, try force restarting your iPhone. Let's take the iPhone 13 as an example. First, press and quickly release the volume up button, press and quickly release the volume down button, then press and hold the power button, let it go when the Apple logo shows up. This can clear the caches of all the third-party apps and let you start your camera from scratch. Fix 2. Fix it via iOS repair tool. If the previous method doesn't work, the only way is to fix the blurry iPhone camera with an iOS repair tool. There are lots of tools on the net, but AnyFix is the only tool tested and trusted by experts to fix blurry cameras. You can fix iPhone camera blurry with just a few clicks. It not only boosts your chances of success but also ensures no data loss. Moreover, it can fix over 150 iOS system issues, like a disabled screen, boot loop, and more. Let's get started. Step 1. Download the latest version of AnyFix and run it on your computer. Step 2. Connect your phone to the computer using a USB cable. In the pop-up window, select the System Repair option. Step 3. Click Start Now to proceed. You'll notice there are three modes available to fix the problem. To resolve the iPhone camera blurry issue without data loss, select Standard Repair. Step 4. Simply follow the on-screen instructions to put your iPhone into recovery mode. Then, download the iPhone firmware and fix the iPhone system. The repair process may take a few minutes. Step 5. Finally, AnyFix will display the repair completed interface. At the same time, you'll find your iPhone back to normal without data loss. Hope you can solve the issue by following the methods provided in this video. If you like it, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment below. See you next time.